Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my completed journals. A while ago I did a empty journal collection but I just realized that I've never done a full completed journal collection and I've got a lot of completed journals at this point. If you've seen on my channel I have the flip throughs of all of these journals up so if you're interested in the specifics of any journal you can go find them on my channel. They're all numbered. This is how I store my journals in this long bin. It's very convenient but I have gotten to the point where I have too many journals but I'm just gonna go through each one today and I have a new one entering the collection. I'm very excited. That will be journal number 13 I believe. This is journal number 13 that will be entering this collection. And then I also have some journals on the side here that are not completed but I store with my completed journals because I'm not going to be finishing them. They're from a while ago and I just want to hold on to them for keepsake. So let's just get right into it. Okay so this is my big pile of journals. I am just about to finish journal number 13. I used to complete journals at a much faster pace and that's why I have so many. But I've slowed down over the years especially because I've started daily journaling. So now I use my normal journal on top of a daily journal so I use it way less frequently and so this journal took me about six months where some of these other journals took me only a month or maybe even less than so I just use my journals differently now and I'm okay with that so these are all of my undated everything journals like I just fill them with everything I can and they are not daily I can journal in them whenever I want. Let's start with the first journal, which is this one. This is my first ever completed journal. Now, I'm someone who loves notebooks and has journaled and like tried out different methods, um, specifically bullet journaling before I started journaling. And I only count the journals that I complete. So when I started this journal, that's when I started counting my journals. It was a big deal that I completed this journal and the fact that I've completed all of these journals now. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I have a flip through up of this journal, but I'll give you a sneak peek. It started out as just a normal journal with like lists and stuff like this, but then it turned into an actual writing journal and decorating. There's a lot of writing in this journal. So that's what this journal looks like. I keep this little strap around it. I got it from a set at Walmart and this just keeps it so it's not too thick. I remember thinking this journal was so chunky when I first filled it out but now it just looks so normal to me because for example I have this daily journal that is so thick. As you can see it is going to be huge like I'm not even finished with it yet and I love it. So that's journal number one. Journal number two is actually a six ring binder. I was very intrigued by these because of YouTube and so I'd watch videos about six ring binders and I loved how you could take out the pages so you can take it out to work on it and then also if you don't end up liking a page it's so easy to take out and move things around and there's a lot of convenience to the six ring binder. I got this kind of holographic cover. Well, also this journal I got from Target a while ago and this six ring binder I got on Amazon I'm pretty sure. In this journal I did tabs for the months. So as you can see it lasted about three months. Oh wait, four months. This journal lasted about four months I think. On the inside Here's what it's looking like. Put in little ephemera and a lot of writing. I had fun with like inserting packaging and stuff like that. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cute and I'm happy with it but I did not like the six ring binder I was done with it by the time I finished I think I wanted to be done with it earlier 
So I did not repurchase a six ring binder. I think this is journal number three. Let's look. Yep, this is journal number three. Again, it, this one also has a band. It's just a headband from Dollar Tree. A while ago, someone had recommended that as a journal strap, and I just love that idea, and I used it on a couple other of my journals. Now I don't really worry too much about having journal bands. Then I did, and I wanted to make sure that they were held down to keep compressed because my journals do get thick because I use a lot of packaging and papers and stuff, stickers, washi tape, all that kind of stuff. And I also have set up videos of all these journals on this channel. Oh, I like this page. I was experimenting with paint, it looks like. I didn't know I had done that so early on. I thought that was something I adopted more recently. But I guess I had played around with some watercolor in this journal. Lots of writing. Some happy mail. This is when I used to put happy mail inside my journals. But lately I haven't been. I've just been keeping it in a separate little book that holds envelopes. That holds envelopes. It has little pocket pages for them. So this is journal number three. Journal number four. I love this journal. I love how it looks on the outside. And I thought this pearl headband was so fun is also from dollar tree and i remember just really liking this journal oh this fell out of it Let's see where that was i'm just gonna put it at the front there's a lot going on at the time of this journal yeah this was in 2020 so there was a lot going on this is what the journal looks like I didn't finish this spread. Oh, I even <laughs> left a page to put more, but I didn't. Halloween happened. Um, yeah. So that's journal. That's four. Oh, wait, this is five. So I skipped a journal. So let's real quickly go back. Let's find journal number three or four. Journal number four. Okay, here's journal number four. I love this lavender. I think this is a moleskin. Yes, this is a moleskin. Um, so these were like a, a lot to fill because these have a lot of pages and these books are not really made for getting really bulky. Luckily this one didn't get too bulky, but yeah, it it's held up fine. But I don't really like using the moleskin or the large charm for this type of journaling. I typically like different journals. Like, like, this is a cool journal that I have that I'm going to show later. So, then this is journal number five. We already went over this. Let's find journal number six. Here is journal number six. I got this journal from my Paper Gang subscription. I don't have it anymore, but um, I, I had it at the time. And they often come with different notebooks. Their boxes just include different stationery. Let's take a look inside. Oh, we got Christmas. So it looks like this was around Christmas time. I don't really care for this journal that much. Oh, I cut my hair. That was a really big day for me. On to the next journal. Journal number seven. It's, yes, it's this one right here. This is a Dollar Tree band. And this journal I think I got from Dollar Tree. I think you can journal in any journal, no matter the price. But I don't know if I recommend these journals because these are falling apart like these this journal is not holding up whatsoever so that sucks i don't look through it too much so it isn't completely destroyed yet so i have to try not to open this one because it is falling apart but there are some better quality ones at dollar tree this one is also from dollar tree and let's see i think this is Yes, journal number eight. This is a much better quality notebook, and it's also from Dollar Tree. It's the same price. So you just got to scope out what you can find there and see, kind of test the quality, see if it will hold up. So this one did hold up pretty well, and I think this journal turned out cute. So now we're in 2021. Now journal number nine i believe it is this guy journal number nine i remember i really liked this type of journal it's got this like pvc cover and then the pages 
One side is grid and the other is lined with a date marker at the top. Looks like I didn't finish some pages, but. Oh, actually a lot of this is empty. I mean, not a lot, but I've seen already two pages that are kind of blank. So I guess this wasn't the best journal for me, but I purchased other ones like it because I loved how this journal was formatted with the pages like this. Oh, and it looks like I, I left a couple pages at the back blank. I guess I was just dumb with this notebook. I guess it has a lot of pages. It is kind of nice when there are fewer pages in a journal because you get tired of a journal and sometimes it's time to move on. So then we have this guy right here. I really like the cover. This journal is, um, I think I got it from Staples. It's Standard Issue Supplies by Design Works Inc. Design Work Inc.'s also designed this journal. So I really like that company and I thought this journal was really nice to work in. It is big, like the pages are big, and I think I've found that I like working in somewhat smaller journals, but it can also be nice to work in these big ones as well. It's just all about preference and what mood you're in with journaling, I would say. That's this journal. I just like the type of journal that this is, but I think it turned out nice. Next, we have journal number 11. This is a smaller journal, as you can see. We're getting to more recent journals. This is 2020, like towards the end of 2022. I like how this journal turned out, and I think it's because I was working in a smaller journal, like a thinner journal. It had less pages, and so I was able to just enjoy my time in this journal without getting stuck in it and feeling like I want to move on and go on to another journal already. So I really do like thinner journals as well and like smaller smaller and thinner journals are really nice to work in. Even though now that I have a daily journal that is really small, I like having a bigger journal to accompany it with. So then we have journal number 12. I think that this journal is really cool. It's a Suki journal. So the website is suki.co.uk if you want to try to find this journal. But it has all different kinds of pages. Like I really loved this page with the scallop edge. It has line papers, just like blank pages. This was just a really cool journal to work in. I would definitely consider purchasing another one by this company because this was just so much fun to work in. I loved constantly having different pages to work in to switch it up and then it has like different envelopes and stuff that you can use in it. It's kind of like a junk journal but in a normal journal, journal format. So yeah, I really like how this journal turned out as well and I highly recommend this type of journal. Then this is the most recent journal and I'm almost finished with it. I just have a couple pages to fill out, but I've decorated to the end. But this journal is really pretty, but I didn't really know how to work in it. I've kind of learned as I've gone on, but it's not my favorite journal to work in. I just liked how pretty it was. This journal is by Ebu. They also have like little matching colored pencils for it that are really pretty. The pages on the inside are pretty, and then the actual pages have this edge of this like vine in the purple which are really pretty but can be distracting for your pages but here's like some recent pages that i did um you'll see a flip through of this soon but i've been working in this for about six months now so it's been with me for a while but like i said it's because i'm also daily journaling on top of that so those are all my completed journals and then by the end of this year this journal will also be completed and it is my daily 2023 journal i'll give you a little sneak peek I have a flip through of the first half up on my channel already and I have been having so much fun working in this journal and I can't wait till it is all done to see the entire thing together. One day I'll start having daily journals a part of my journal collection. So this is the first of many, hopefully, daily journals along with my regular journals. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.